Luke here, public address announcer for your Sacramento Kings. I'm in the arena for your top plays of the week. Only one vote left in season one. Who are you sending to the final vote? Let's find out. First up is flashback of a fool in the wreck. Gets the ball in a tight game. Dribbles into the defense. Nice spin. Great patience. And one. UK Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. And those are the starting lineups. Lots of interesting matchups tonight. Stick around. We'll be right back with more. Hello, basketball fans. You've got it on 2K Sports as we get set to bring you an exciting NBA basketball game. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and a pair of Hall of Famers with us, Doris Burke and David Aldridge. Now let's take a look at the Bulls' opening lineup. Wright and Levine on the wing. Vucevic is out there at the road. And it's Ball in at the point guard position. And for the Clippers, filling the two and three, the core of George and Leonard. The post pairing, Batum and Zubac. And it's Westbrook in at the point guard. And Greg, taking a look at this one here tonight, the clash at the guard positions really stands out. No question about it. Both teams rely heavily on their backcourts to get it done. And I'm interested to see which backcourt brings it tonight. Now here's Westbrook. Pass to Batum. Outside Leonard over Levine. Goes up again, and Zubac puts it in. Zubac has got the first points up on the board for Los Angeles. Ball feeling it out a bit. Bean passes to Vucevic. Trains the three-pointer. Mr. Vucevic has elite range for a big man. He will punish you from downtown if you let him. George up top, right covering, it's good. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. And I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. Here's White, Paul George making his last shot. That shot misses. Well, that's a blown defensive coverage, but it doesn't matter. He cannot answer the bell. And Paul with the block. And Ball using those long arms to just swat away that shot. I love the hustle. Always nice to have a point guard who can block shots. Levine gets the bucket. Well, this is a shot he hits with regularity. Defense trying to close, just not good enough. Leonard the bounce pass. Here's George. There's the pass to Zubats. Clippers moving the ball around. Five on the clock. They get the rebound. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. First person. That one on Vucevic. One of the things I admire most about Nick Patum is how consistently he gives effort through 48 minutes. Plays with his head in the game and giving his all-out effort every play. One thing Nicholas Patum has shown Doris throughout his career is his versatility. Kevin, you love guys who are willing to take Super on a two. number of different roles and have the skill set to go ahead and execute. Batum, a guy who played three different positions over the course of his decade plus in the NBA, a truly selfless player. That free throw missing. And Doris, the Clippers are moving into a new arena in Inglewood in 2024. And Kevin, I think this is absolutely huge for the organization. Part of establishing your own identity in Los Angeles will be their new arena. So exciting for this fan base that's growing and growing. No good on the second free throw. Chicago has gone two of two from three-point range here in the first quarter. Stolen by Zubas. It's three on three on the fast break. Here's Leonard. Los Angeles with another miss. And it's DeRozan at the elbow. And DeRozan throws it down hard. DeMar DeRozan says, I've got a little showman 
in me. My goodness gracious, sets the crowd on fire with that one. Zubac finds Leonard. Nice D from Levine. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. Takes the 13-footer. Ball no good. Clippers trail by four. The three from George. And Bucevic pulls it down. Boy, a really tough quarter for this guy. Just struggling to make shots right now. And the basket by DeRozan. They've wasted no time settling Hello, into their man. offense. So timeout called here, the first for Los Angeles. And looking to stop this run and get back on track. Really needs to settle his guys down right now and get them refocused. I see the stat sheet here for Zach Levine. About three minutes gone here in the first quarter. To halt the run and the layup good by George. George has got his second basket of the game. Boy, you love the tenacity. Defender all over him and Paul George keeps his focus. White the pass to DeRozan. Vucevic up top, jacks up a three. Good on the triple. Vucevic has got a couple of threes now in the first for Chicago. And I like to see this. They're calling his number early, and he's delivering. They know that if this guy goes off, their chances of winning rise exponentially. Well, there's an unpredictability to his offensive game. He is always keeping the defense off balance. Knock loose. Leonard with the steal. To the inside. Deft touch on the alley. Well, oh, just really intelligent playmaking from Russell Westbrook. This guy sees someone with a good look and he gets him the basketball. Ball against Westbrook. Ball with the bucket. Oh, sweet move there. Taking the defender off the dribble and then just cruising in for the layup. Now, George. He has six. Pass to Westbrook. Fires the three, and Bucevic pulls it down. Chicago leading by five, pass the ball. Again, Chicago. And Ball has tremendous confidence in that shot. As soon as the pass hits his hands, he's ready to pull up. Now, here's Zubox. 11-point game, his last outing. Kicks to Leonard. And that one is off. Nice D from Levine. Boy, what a nightmare quarter for this guy. He's playing right into the hands of the defense at this point. The dish to DeRozan. Six on the shot clock. Over in the corner, White. Over George. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. And this is exactly what you have to do to stop him. That was a tremendous contest, forcing the miss. Here's Batum, and Levine with the block. Wow, solid swat from Levine. Coaches and teammates appreciate when he's engaged on the defensive end. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots of the game right here. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. So the end of the season, Greg, is in sight now. Are players glad to see the finish line approaching? I think it all depends on where you're at in the standings, Kevin. I mean, playoff-bound teams are eager to wrap things up, but those on the bubble probably wish they had more padding in their schedule. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And here's Ball. He'll bring it up for the Bulls. Leading by five. Props in the layup for two. Ball's got six points. And the Clippers call time here. And going against Chicago, their first meeting of the season. And as good as a team as they were a year 
ago, they hated seeing these guys in their knees, just couldn't get it done against them. Well, this set of players deserves credit for some of the most creative playmaking we've seen in the second half of the season. The top passers among small forwards since the All-Star break. Number five is Zach Levine. And these are some of the best teammates you're ever going to want. Very unselfish players at a position where you don't see a lot of offensive facilitating. Well, you see plenty of that when any of these guys are on the floor. They're each very good at keeping their options open, trying to find the best possible shot on every trip, and no individual agendas. That's crucial. Here's Vucevic, and Vucevic throws it down. Well, Levine has really worked on those playmaking abilities. That's a pretty pass right there. Westbrook kicks to Zubas. Dishes it to George. Pass to Leonard. There's the triple. Hits the three-point bomb. Leonard's got his second bucket. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Oh, and they call an illegal screen. Here. Already his second, second foul. Second. He's in danger of getting into serious foul trouble early in this game. So, for the Clippers, Mason Plumley's checked in for Zubox, and Norman Powell subbed in for Nicholas Batum. Drummond's checked in for the Bulls. Williams comes in for ball. Now here's Westbrook. Oh, Hasn't oh. made one yet. DeMar and the whistle blows. It's going to be on DeMar DeRozan. Foul. That's Third his first foul. foul. And now only Second one away from being Williams. in the penalty. Kenyon for the Clippers, Kenyon Martin Jr. comes in for Kawhi Leonard. Man. Mann subbed in for Russell Westbrook. Pass to Powell. He can't get that one to fall. Nice D from Levine. The Bulls leading by six. Williams dishes to Levine. Tries from ten. Good, and it's Williams who picks up the assist. Levine's got five. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling that. Man passes to Martin. Here's Man. Shot clock at six. Almost, but it rolls out. Just doing the job on the backboard. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Personal foul. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart right now. Especially on the interior. And he'll be shooting his first free throw of the game here. And the Clippers making a switch here. Highlands checked in. Torrey Craig, he's checked in for Chicago. Free throw good, Levine. We've seen a few play in tournaments already, Doris. I like it. How do you like it? I absolutely love, Kevin, that it has emphasized success in the regular season. A huge difference between a six seed and a seven seed. So you give teams something to play for so much further into the year. Obviously, you get more teams, more hope. It has been perfect. And you can see their strategy coming in. They want to control the paint. They have used their size and their strength to get off oh, any oh, shot oh, they want. They've dominated on the interior. First and the Bulls foul. making a change here. Fourth team Carter's foul. checked in. Bulls substitution. Javon Carter. So it's the Clippers now. Trailing by 13. Highland deciding where to go with it. Over Carter. Plumley. But tip in on the offensive rebound hard work and soft hands guys that, that's what made that play possible no simple offensive rebound there going for the tip in now here's Craig that's good and it's Levine with the assist Levine's got his fourth assist in this one and so it's Highland with it he brings it up for the Clippers 
tough loss coming against the Rockets in the last game they played. And guys, there's really a fine line between being aggressive and being out of control. And in that one, they crossed the line. You have got to be a low mistake team in today's NBA because once those turnovers start piling up, you're giving your opponent too many extra looks. Here is Carter following the basket by Mason Plumlee. Carter, the pass to Craig. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Since the break, he's been simply stellar. Averaging 33 points a game. Five rebounds and four assists. He's been nothing short of fantastic during that stretch. Offense coming very easily for him. And so much of it to me is his ability to read the floor, make the right decision, and then go right after the action he wants. The first one falls. Free throws good from Craig. Here's Mann. Still yet to score. Passes it to Highland. Rebound Andre Drummond. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage, Kevin. Back to Carter. Let's it go from deep. And with the rebound. Didn't hesitate for a second to get a hand up on that deep ball. A tremendous effort, tremendous timing. The ability to alter shots on the perimeter, that was beautiful. And that's just a great individual play right through the teeth of the defense. First personal foul. For Los Angeles, they have split their free throws right down the middle so far. At the one They're two for two. One. Bones Highland. Last outing for the Bulls, it was a loss to the Warriors in San Francisco. I mean, a tough one. Uh, faced some serious intensity in terms of that comeback, and they just got overwhelmed in that fourth quarter. Uh, unfortunately, just couldn't stay in the game long enough to force overtime. And you can't help but pick their defense apart. They're completely in disarray. Here's Powell and block. That one goes careening off the glass. One forty-three left here in the first quarter. Here's Williams, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's going to go on Norman Powell. No question, he got bumped on Chicago. that shot. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. At the line, an eighty-five percent mark from the line. There aren't too many players in the league who are going to sport a much better percentage. And that one falls for Williams. George is checked in for the Clippers. And Williams drops them both. And at the line, it's all about consistency with him. His routine, his stroke, it never wavers. Williams against George and finished off by Martin. This guy is such a tough cover in the pick and roll. Paul George threading the needle perfectly. Excellent pass. And you look at Paul George, Doris. He really fits any system you can think of. But Kevin, that's about two things, the skill set and the mindset. If you need him to take over, he can change and get that line of thinking in his mind. You want him to play a secondary role? 
he can adjust there mentally as well. Uh, beyond the leaning, you could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. You know, he's just leaning a little bit. You try to get away with it, but boy, the official all over it. Now, here's George. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against the Rockets in Houston. Here's Highland. Chicago grabs the miss. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high-percentage looks from inside. Carter finds Levine. From the arc. The offensive rebound. Andre Drummond has attacked the glass offensively as long as he's been in the league. Boy, those second chance points come quickly to this guy. Now here's Plumley. Nine points, last game out. Levine feeling it out a bit. We've got 13 seconds left in the first quarter. Down to five on the shot clock. From downtown. And so it's Chicago. Up by a dozen here at the end of the quarter. Their defense has been very effective in locking down Russell Westbrook. And don't go away. We'll be right back. So far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in a second. And a closer look here at the hustle stance for the Bull. They're contesting shots and have also come up with some significant blocks, putting a little doubt into the minds of the opposing shooter. And boy, have they started out quick, running the floor, taking advantage of their speed. Chicago leading by 12. So with Vucevic on the bench, here's the group that Billy Donovan has on the floor. To Rosen out there with Andre Drummond. Then there's Lonzo Ball. Then it's Williams. And it's White in at the shooting guard. And the call is going to be. Yes, yes it is. An illegal screen. Boy, now you have to think about pulling him. Three fouls already in this half. A fourth would be inexcusable. The Clippers shooting 38% from the field. A pretty weak showing for them. George against White. Zubac trying to break loose, and it's George missing. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Drummond finds White. Drummond up top. He's covered by Leonard. Drummond passes to White. Four on the clock. The Bulls need to get a shot off. And it's Drummond missing. Terrific close out there to challenge the three. It may be the hardest thing to do in basketball. Close under control, and he's more than up to the task. And, and that's a great piece of work to get to the hoop there. Just tore the D to shreds. Ball against Westbrook. The wide open look here for DeRozan. And that falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. DeRozan's got seven points. We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter now. Ball against Westbrook. And it's sent back by Drummond. Well, you can't teach size. Just the old expression. And Andre Drummond making his presence felt defensively. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. And hammering down the two-hand slam. Now here's Westbrook. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against the Rockets in Houston. Well, you also have to credit the way he controlled the pace of the game and was able to create for his teammates. DeRozan against Batum. Outside Williams. The three. Another three for Chicago. This is why you want the ball in DeRozan's hands. He can make a play for himself or right there for his teammate. Bounce pass from Westbrook. With the fadeaway. And it's Leonard missing. You know, he made an easy shot so much harder. And it really cost him the bucket, guys. 
and the layup's good off the glass. He's got 11. They are just killing him on the interior. And the Clippers LA call time, time here. When it comes to the essential components of a winning team, GA, how much importance do you place on veteran leadership? Kevin, I think it's important. You, you want a few guys in the locker room who've seen it all. Players who can keep the ship steady if the team kind of goes awry or, or has a tough stretch. Vucevic checked in for Drummond. Westbrook against Ball. Back to Westbrook. He kicks it to George. Los Angeles with another miss. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. And while we've got a moment, I'd send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Thank you, Kevin. Well, the Clippers have their sights set high. Coach Teron Lu says this is definitely a championship team, but it's not going to just come. We've got to put the work in. There's got to be a lot of sacrifices. If we come together and do the right things, we definitely have a chance. Kevin, back to you. And David, he's a big reason why. Thanks so much. And here's DeRozan. Following the three-pointer by Nicholas Batum, stolen by George. Ball against Westbrook. No good that time. Excellent D there from Ball. Chicago leading by 17. DeRozan's shot is off. Batum against DeRozan. Batum, good. Batum's got five points now this quarter. I tell you, that's a big time finish. Nick Batum goes up strong and with authority and won't be denied. Ball finds Vucevic. Now Ball. Back to DeRozan. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. Ball's got four assists in the game. L.A. has gone one or two on three pointers here in the second quarter so far. Leonard, the pass to Zubats. Outside, George. Outside, Leonard. Over Williams. Leonard, no luck. He operates well in traffic, but still, that's just a tough play to finish. The kick out to Ball. He dishes a two to Rosen. Over Westbrook. It's hauled in by Zubats. Clippers trail by 17. Westbrook with it. Still without a basket. Excellent D there from Ball. And here's Ball. He'll bring it up for Chicago. Following this one, they get to host the Mavericks. That game will be a quick pit stop before hitting the road again. The Clippers shooting is definitely lagging at the moment. They're just 30% in the second quarter. Now here's Leonard over Williams. And the Clippers miss again. This guy just can't find his rhythm. And you look up at the scoreboard, they absolutely need his productivity. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal streak. And checking out the numbers for Lonzo Ball. He's been a factor for them over the last month. And such a great distributor and decision maker among the top ten in assists per game. And talk about being top ten in steals. I love his jumping the passing lanes and then stealing away your dribble. Now here is George. He has six. Pass to Zubats. Outside Leonard. And he lobs it up, and the dunk by Zubats. Man, did Zubats get off his feet in a hurry. What a finish. The Bulls leading by 15. And White kicks to Vucevic. Outside, White. Over George. White, good. Boy, I don't think he'll get a screen assist for that pick, but they get the points, and that's all that matters. Now, here's George. He's a guy we see deliver on a nightly basis, averaging about 24 and a half points a game. Leonard with the bucket. And they are absolutely stroking it from beyond the arc. Outside, ball. Kicks it to Williams. And the rejection by Zubats. How about Zubats? Work so hard on 
the defensive end. Nicely done. But two, this is Delaney. Some nice ball movement by the Clippers. Lock at six. George finds Westbrook. Shoots over ball. Westbrook can't get it to go. Wow, this defense is blanking him down the stretch, and that's certainly hurting his team's chances. And here's White. Taking a look at his stats, he's averaging around nine and a half points a game. And that one drops. And that's now 10 points for Vucevic. Well, Vucevic has a great understanding of the pick and roll game and his experience paying off there. Now here's Leonard. It's a 16 point game. Ball against Westbrook. And Paul with the block. Here's DeRozan. That falls. Nice DeMar feed that DeRozan. time from Ball. Ball's got his fifth assist in this one. L.A.'s gone two or three when they've stepped beyond the arc in the second quarter. Here's Leonard. Basket number five goes in. He's now five and 12 from the floor. Well, Kawhi Leonard meets the defender at the rim, and he comes out on top. Pass to Vucevic. Ball with a wide-open look. Oh, good with the triple. Clippers trail by 16. The pass to Westbrook. There's the dish to George. Looking to end his cold spell. Here's Batum. They get it back. Zubats. The third shot of the possession finally falls for him. Zubats has got four this quarter. Yeah, Zubats knows his job. And that's to do the dirty work. Get into the offensive glass. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. And they've been very loose with the ball here. They haven't been as patient, forcing things a bit, which has led to turnovers. They need to just slow down and relax. And Los Angeles will go for a different look here. Mason Plumley's checked in for Batum. Kenyon Martin Jr. comes in for Kawhi Leonard. Mann's checked in for George. And Bones Island subbed in for Russell Westbrook. Then for the Bulls, Torrey Craig. He's checked in for DeRozan. Bean comes in for Williams. And it's Carter in for Kobe White. Los Angeles has gone 3-7 tonight from three-point territory. And finished off by Martin. And maybe that will trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys in the bench. They are pumped up. Now, here's Craig. And finished off by Craig. This guy is a high flyer. I mean, especially for a power forward. And he needs to be as an undersized player. Highland passes to Mann. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. It works well there. Not much resistance from the deep. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. Now, here's Ball. He's coming off a 25-point game against the Warriors in San Francisco. And he was also a terrific creator in that game as well. His assist totals show you what a fantastic all-around effort it was. Plumley in the post. He's covered by Ball. Yep, it counts. Plumley's got six. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. And Doris, how about Mason Plumley? Last season, changing to shoot set shots left-handed after almost a decade in the NBA. Kevin, this is one of the most remarkable things I've ever seen. To his credit, it worked. Career highs for Plumley from the field. So much of this is about confidence. This is his second trip to the free throw line. Two shots. Two. Two. Free throw good, Levine. Zach Levine, one of the most entertaining players in the league. Boy, when he's cooking offensively, look out. Norman Bowles checked in for Zubac. And a change for the Bulls. Drummond's checked in for Vucevic. He 
And so Levine nails both of them. And here is Los Angeles now. A 12-point game. Next up in the dock at the Bucks following this one. They'll find themselves in the middle of this string of three straight at home. Martin against Cray. Martin, the pass to Highland. Three on the clock. Over Carter. Highland misses. Chicago leading by 12. Bobbed up there for Drummond. And he lays it in the alley-oop. Oh, it's just a soft touch on both ends of that pretty alley -oop. I got to say, when he threw the pass, I didn't know where it was going. Now here's Powell. 17 points for him last game against the Rockets in Houston. Here's Mann. He's covered by Ball. Man gets the bucket. I mean, the number of points they scored in the paint already here it is eye opening. Levine against Powell. Outside Levine. Let's it go. Offensive rebound. Buzzer beaters good. One eye on the rim, one eye on the clock. Nice job. Well, finishing quarter strong. Every coach preaches it. Nice work. And so it's DeMar DeRozan making highlights for Chicago. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing no signs of fatigue. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much here with Coach Ty Lue. Coach, how do you get control of this game in the second half? Well, I think we just got to do a better job rebounding the basketball and taking care of the basketball. We have some shots, but we know we make we get. We just got to get back in transition. And building that wall will help you, Coach. I know. Thanks. Back to you guys. Thanks so much, Dave, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back for the second half of basketball right after this. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to 2K Sports, everybody. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Let's talk about that first half. DeMar DeRozan putting in some serious work for the team tonight. He ended up with 15 points, two assists, and one rebound. Kenny, your thoughts on how the Bulls are playing? What a true demonstration of dominance. They made a commitment to owning the glass, and they made good on it. Blocking out, competing hard in traffic. That's the way you should play on both ends of the court. Shaq, what was your takeaway on the Clippers? The shooting percentage they allowed was through the roof. The coach should absolutely be ripping into the defense and effort. He need to take some pride on the other end and just lock it in. Lock it in. Lock it in. And that'll about do it as we get ready for the second half. Let's take you down to Kevin Harlan. Shout out to my main man, Joel. Joel, what up? Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. A fantastic game from DeMar DeRozan so far. The way he was able to finish on the block was incredible there in that first half. It felt like his work on the interior really gave this offense a boost. Let's see if he can dominate the rest of the way. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. At the guard spots, we'll see Westbrook and George, and small and power forward, Leonard and Batum. And it's Zubat in at the center, locking down the middle. That's who's out there for the Clippers. DeRozan passes the ball. Passes to Levine. Dishes it to White. Shot clock at five. Fires it up. And it's DeRozan missing. Clippers trail by 14. 
fades and shoots. And that one hits back iron. Ball against Westbrook. Here's Levine. It's good. Levine. The assist that time from Ball. Levine's got 12. Well, Levine able to take on the contact there and still finish. That's a tough shot. The three from George. Drains it from beyond the arc. And he found the perfect spot behind the arc there. Big gap in the deep. Inside, Vucevic. And he finishes nicely on the way. He's got 12. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It's on Zach Levine. Because Kawhi Leonard has such a well-rounded offensive game, it's easy for him to put the defense in a bad position, draws contact there. Free throw drops for Leonard. Watching Kawhi enter the league as a lockdown defender and now become an all-around champion. Boy, what a career he has had. So he gets them both. And so it's Ball who brings the ball up for Chicago. They led the game at one point by 20. White looking around. Back to DeRozan. Five to shoot. That shot, no good. Excellent D there from George. Batum with the ball. Now guarded by Vucevic. Outside for George. Pass to Leonard. Outside Batum. Westbrook against Ball. Excellent D there from Ball. Pass to White. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. To the wing right side. Here's Vucevic. Six for six. He's yet to miss from the field. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. No, I think that's the one thing every player is searching for. Consistency. They're giving this guy a chance to carry the offense once again. Now here's Westbrook. He has yet to score. Good work there as it goes. Well, great work from Russell Westbrook. The closer he is, the more aggressive he becomes. Ball, the pass to Levine. And he drops Zach that one Levine. in. 14 by. points for Don't Zach Levine. Well, this guy has been efficient and effective all night. That IQ has been on display. Back to Westbrook. Beyond the arc. Westbrook missing again. What a brutal night for this guy. And it is having a ripple effect throughout the team. This is tough. Here's Levine. It's rebounded by Leonard. Leonard's got four rebounds now tonight. Ball against Westbrook. Battles through traffic and lays it in. Westbrook's got four points in the quarter. Well, how about the handle of Russell Westbrook? Makes that slash into the defense look easy. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. Levine against Leonard. Again, Levine missing. A contested mid-range shot can't be what they were looking for there. Well, especially with that defensive player in the area. You know he's going to find a way to get into the shooter and make him uncomfortable. And now the latest from our reporter, David Alder. Thanks, Kevin. DeMar DeRozan credits his upbringing in Compton, California for helping him make the person that he is today. 
He said, it gave me my toughness, my aggression. It matured me very fast into a man. That's something that to this day sticks with me. No matter what I get or how much I have now, I still remember what it feels like to have nothing. Kevin? That's a good thought to keep in your head. David, thanks. And here's Leonard after the three-pointer from Zach Levine. We have a chance now to look at the teams that have created the most points off turnovers this season. The Clippers, number one. And all those points off turnovers have been a huge bonus. I mean, that aggressive defense has also paid dividends at the offensive end of the floor. First one falls for him. And the Clippers making a change here. Powell's checked in. Williams is checked in for the Bulls. <laughs> Leonard hits them both. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. The Bulls leading by 14. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. And sometimes from the outside, not always clear what led a coach to call for a timeout. And as you know, it's what comes after that gives you some sense of what has changed. And a look here at the scoring trend over the last several months for Norman Powell. It's been surprising to me to see him take a little bit of a tumble lately in terms of what he's doing for them offensively. The, the points just haven't been there for him like they were a few months back. The defenses he's facing have adjusted to him, and he hasn't been able to make his own adjustments. Now, here's Vucevic. 14 points for him. And it's White missing. Clippers trail by 14. Powell, the pass to West. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul ball. Hanzo Ball picks one up. Well, the craftiness of Russell Westbrook down low. This guy excels at drawing contact close to the basket. The Clippers have made seven out of nine when they've stepped to the line. The free throw drops for Russell Westbrook. What we know unequivocally is the best players being your hardest workers, the guys who want to be held accountable, make such an impact on your program, and that is Russell Westbrook to a T. And the Clippers making a change here. Plumlee's checked in. And Russell Westbrook drops them both. The Bulls leading by 12. Outside ball. Releases from 15, and it's White missing. And so it's Leonard with it. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. And George kicks to Westbrook. And the lead is down inside single digits. Westbrook's got nine points now in just the second half. The pass to Vucevic. Dishes it to Williams. The shot's good on the assist by Vucevic. Williams has got nine. Clippers trail by 11. Now George. He's got nine. And the foul on Patrick Williams. That's foul number two for him. Yeah, clearly he had an established position there. Mann's checked in for the Clippers. Then for the Bulls, Drummond's checked in for Vucevic, and it's Carter in for Ball. Here's Mann. Looking at his numbers, he's averaging about uh, six and a half points a game. Great look, but off the mark. Well, you simply have to shake that one off, right? You can't let that kind of missed opportunity bother you. Passes it to Williams. Back to Carter. 
Popped up there for Drummond. Lays it in off the pretty alley -oop. Oh, just a picture-perfect alley-oop. You, you gotta love that one, A little surprise, Greg. He didn't go for the big slam, but it works just the same. Now here's Powell. No scoring in this one. Not gonna go that time. White with the defensive effort. The Bulls leading by 13. And it's Mason foul Plumley four. with the foul. Mason That's foul number two for him. Tory Craig. He's First checked in foul. for Chicago. Bold substitution. Tory Craig. Outside Williams. Back to Carter. This one for three. It's hauled in by George. Didn't hesitate for a second to get a hand up on that deep ball. Well, tremendous effort, tremendous timing. The ability to alter shots on the perimeter, that was beautiful. Now here's Paul. And it's sent back by Truman. And he's able to get it back. From deep, George gets the three-point three fall. George has got six here in this quarter. Boy, Paul George now taking double the amount of threes he did when he first came in the league. Incredible. Here we go. And the Bulls call timeout here. For your Huggins checked in for Leonard. And let's quickly take a look at the stats for George. This last month, he's been positively spectacular. Averaging about 23 points per, six rebounds, and four assists. And what an impact he makes for them on that offensive end. Right. He can do a little bit of everything for this team. And it shows when you look at the scoreboard. Now here's White. He kicks to Williams. Powell against White. Six to shoot. Here's Craig. Gets to the rim for two with the D all over him. Craig's got eight. Well, you like how aggressive he is making a play at the rim against Lynn. You have got to believe that you can score against size on the interior. How about the aggressive, assertive move there? And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. That's the court. From outside the arc, Rebound by the Clippers. Here's Mann. Makes good on the step back jump. He has six. How about the timing? Could be the difference between an assist and a turnover. Nice delivery. In his short career, Terrence Mandoris has been asked to play a variety of positions and roles. And Kevin, that's a testament to his adaptability. He has started. He's come off the bench. One thing we know nightly, he's going to be tremendous with his energy and competitive spirit. Bones Island is jacked in for George. And Chicago has possession. They led the game at one point by 20. Outside, White. Just five on the clock. Takes the 13-footer. Here's Drummond. And Drummond throws it down. Boy, the defense has no answer for Andre Drummond. That's what we call emphatic finish. Pass to Plumlee. And it's sent back by Drummond. Carter looking around. To the middle. And it's Drummond with the jam. Well, what he lacks in size for a typical center, he makes up for with all that athleticism. Boy, can he elevate. And there's the pass to Pop. Island against Carter. Two minutes. Highland misses. Two minutes. Listen, he can make that shot right there, but I do know they have other options they can go to. It seems like every shot these guys have been putting up has been going in. This month's top shooters in the third spot, Mason Plumber, and of course, Tamar DeRosa. Both of these guys have been shooting with tremendous efficiency as the month has gone on. I don't know who's going to outdo who.
that one is off. Good on the second free throw. Clippers trail by 15. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Highland's shot is good. Highland's got five points so far. And not relying at all on the three-point shot. Uh, they may want to rethink about stretching the defense a bit like they did in that first half. And it's White missing. Well, this is the night you look at your teammates and tap them on the back and say, good job, because for him, he's been struggling all night. Carter against Highland. Over Carter. Rebound by Williams. And it's Williams with the ball for the Bulls. 13-point lead. It's intercepted. And pushing it up, here's the Clippers. Here's Highland. Great touch on the 16-footer. He's got seven. Great finish. What a setup. Terrific ball movement there. 52 seconds left in the third. And it's White missing. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. Well, not at the offensive end, certainly. He cannot buy a bucket right now. Here's Mann. Six points for him. Passes it to Highland. Shot clock at six. He gets it to fall. That makes it just a single-digit lead. Wow, he looks like a completely different player in this half. He's found his rhythm. White dishes to Carter. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. And really the defense fouling there to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. For Chicago, they have knocked down eight of nine free throw attempts. I can see those numbers read pretty well. And, and they've done some really nice work at the foul line, knocking down 80%. That's good from Carter. So both teams changing it up here. Off on that one, so he goes one for two at the line. Clippers trail by nine. They can close out the quarter if they want to. It's all about patience right here. Patience and execution. Get a good look. Powell with it. Here's Mann. What a play. Simply drains it in at the buzzer. Yeah, that is a timely three-pointer there. They had to keep it within reach going into the fourth, and that shot allows them to do just that. And so it's the Chicago Bulls with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. They're playing a bruising game inside, and it's working for them. And we'll be right back after this. And let's go back to a terrific pass that we're calling tonight our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Well, that's what a great pass will do, right? You love the unselfish play. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. So for Chicago right now, Ball and Levine are the guard set. DeRozan out there with Torrey Craig. And it's Vucevic in at the center position. Now here's Westbrook. Fader on the way. It's all in by the Bulls. Vucevic has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. 
And this has been an outstanding display on the board, and it's a big part of why they have a lead in this game. Doing the dirty work down low. No doubt for me, the offense looks better in the second half. They've been able to dial down those turnovers, and that's been a huge help. And the Clippers making a change here. But Toombs checked in. Clippers trail by six. To the paint, here's Leonard, and finished off by Leonard. And Kawhi Leonard right now is cooking, folks. This guy has got a rhythm, and you better watch out. Pass to Vucevic. Back to ball. Launches it. The shot's good on the assist by Vucevic. Vucevic has got three assists in the game. Up top, Leonard. Craig defending. Here, Zubats uses the glass to finish the lane. Now, this is just pick and roll action at its finest. The big man sets a solid screen, rolls to the cup, leaves no doubt. And the foul call on Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard. That's his first foul. First personal foul. First team foul. Ball against Westbrook. Left side, ball. Just five to shoot. DeRozan for three. You can see how Batum uses both size and positioning to guard. What a contest. What a job making that difficult. And that one's good. Westbrook. After being held scoreless in the first, he's turning it on here in the second. Bulls leading by three. Ball finds Levine over George. Excellent D there from George. And it's Batum with the ball, bringing it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. They've played a great fourth quarter defensive, allowing only three points. Now here's Westbrook. Outside for George. Pass to Batum to tie it up. It's all in by the Bulls. Craig's got five rebounds tonight. Westbrook against Ball. And the pass to Levine. Back to Ball. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. First person to face the quickness of Ball. That's a problem for defenders. Solid at finding ways to get fouled on the way up. And let's take a moment, guys, to get your take on the scoring so far for the Bulls. I'm in love with how they're moving the basketball all game long. And also their ability to move without the ball. That style just makes it so difficult to defend. And their fast break has also been a key metric in this one. They have had a significant advantage in transition over the course of this game. And at 6'6", Ball, very similar to Jason Kidd in terms of the vision that he plays the game with. His IQ is off the charts. Kobe White, he's checked in for Torrey Craig. He's perfect from the line this time. Clippers trail by five. Third minute of action now gone here in the fourth. On the wing, George. White covering. And George gets it to go. Now you see Paul George stay strong and committed with the basketball, totally focused on finishing. White with it. George picks him up. White, good. And the Bulls lead by five. Clippers have gone four of seven from the field since the beginning of the fourth. That's in a seven for two now in the game. Man, have they been effective at getting the ball inside. DeRozan surveying the D. The three. And it's White missing. You know what? They're winning, though, despite the fact that he has just been really off. Paul George. And a chance now to look at the schedule for Chicago. On Monday, they'll be facing Kyrie Irving and the Dallas Mavericks. Then on Wednesday, 
They'll begin a road trip starting in Indiana, going up against the Pacers. And for that game against Los Angeles, you know they're going to be amped up for that one. And they'll need to be. That's going to be one tough game for that group. There's Paul with the three. And that comes off the assist by Levine. Levine's got five assists in the game. Los Angeles calls timeout. You look at Zach Levine, he's really been playing well. You've got to take a timeout, take a breath, and come up with a plan for how to stop this guy. Thank you, Clippers. Let's make some noise. And now let's send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Kevin, during the last break, I heard Tyron Lou talking with his team. His emphasis was for more effort on the defensive end. He said we have to do a better job of communicating and helping each other out. They're getting too many easy looks. Let's make it hard on them. Kevin, they're going to have to if they're going to slow down the hot shooting of their opponent. Thank you, David. Here's Vucevic following the basket by Russell Westbrook. Well, when Vucevic is this active boy, he is so dependable at drawing fouls. Now the line for the Bulls, Nikola Vucevic. And the first one drops. Well, Nikola Vucevic is a capable back-to-the-basket scorer, and he plays with tremendous confidence, guys. And both free throws good for Vucevic. Boy, he's got a great stroke from the line. That's not something we can say about all the league's big guys. Here's Leonard. Levine with the rebound. Levine's got his fifth rebound in this one. And hard work on the glass. Once again, guys, they put a lot of effort and focus on the backboard. Well, just staying alert. Great setup that time by Levine. Now here's Leonard. Nikola Vucevic. That's his third personal foul. First team foul. At the line for LA, Kawhi Leonard for a free throw. Free throw good from Kawhi Leonard. Both free throws good from Kawhi Leonard. The Bulls leading by six. Outside, White. Out to DeRozan. Shoots over Batum. DeRozan's shot is off for Los Angeles. They've gotten into a pretty good groove going six or ten here in the final quarter. Here's Ball. The dish to DeRozan. And the rejection by Zubats. Batum against Ball. Batum, good. That's size and that's agility by Nick Batum. That made all the difference right there despite that great defense. Levine against Leonard for the three. And Zach Levine hits from deep. Levine's got 20. Challenging this D with the three ball. That's his second from distances half. And he also hit one in the first half, too. Zubats against Ball. 
Here's Westbrook. And it's Chicago with the rebound. They led the game at one point by 20. Batum against DeRozan. Over Batum. And the Bulls tack on two more. We are talking one of the most consistent, accomplished mid-range scorers in the NBA. DeRozan, it is effortless. Here's Leonard. Outside Batum. Hands it from downtown. Well, that's his second three of the game. One in the first half, one here. Ball against Westbrook. Ball, the pass to White. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. I'll tell you, it has not been this guy's best night, but the Ball teammates Chicago. have been there to pick up the slack. Rosa. Love it. That's his third personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for L.A., Paul George. No good on that one. Boy, Paul George continues to prove himself an elite offensive threat. And he's good on the second. <laughs> they are making it look easy at the free throw line here in the second half. Outside, Levine. Westbrook against Ball. It's White on the wing. Five on the clock. Over George. Can't get the bucket from 20 feet out. And here's Westbrook. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. Trailing by five. Now, here's Ball. Pass to Vucevic. The kick out to Ball. And play stops. Whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. Oh, picked up his fourth foul. Maybe have to scale back his aggressiveness with plenty of time left in this one. For Los Angeles, they've gone 8 of 13 from the field since the start of the fourth, sinking the majority of their shots. Here's George. Basket number eight for him on 13 tries. That's 62% so far. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Westbrook against Ball. Back to Vucevic. And the rejection by Zubas. And that one. Goes out of bounds. Touched by Zubox. Six on the shot clock. Yes! And the foul. Nicholas it's Batum. on Nicholas Batum. First I think foul. I can make the case that DeMar DeRozan finishes now through contact like a big man. DeMar this DeRozan. guy is tremendous at one end shot. one opportunities. One shot. good from DeMar DeRozan. Great scorers know how to knock in free throws. DeMar DeRozan, not the guy you want to foul. Up top, Leonard. Guarded by Levine. And Leonard gets it to go. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Pass to Vucevic. It's rebounded by Leonard. Leonard's got rebound number seven for him tonight. George against White. Westbrook feeling it out a bit. The three from George. And it's Chicago with the rebound. 
Vucevic has got the glass covered here tonight. 11 boards for him. Levine kicks the ball. Right the pass to ball. Here's Vucevic. And the Bulls with another miss. Clippers trail by four. Outside Leonard. And that one is good. Leonard's got 24. Let's remember this is a former Finals MVP. He will not blink in the biggest of moments. Here's DeRozan. Not wasting any time and taking the shot and knocking it down. Oh, my goodness. You could tell DeMar DeRozan demanded the basketball. He wanted the chance to be the deciding factor. Now here's Leonard. But two dishes to Leonard. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Bounce pass from Westbrook. Here's George. Nice D from DeRozan. And you know, you can't to shot that close any better than he did on that possession. Boy, whether he blocks it or simply alters it, the result is pretty much the same. And one of White's biggest advantages, he's a 6'5 point guard. That allows him to see up over the top of the defense. Now here's Westbrook. Get the shot. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Second person. Anzo Ball picks one up. Third team foul. Two shots, foul, two. At the line for L.A., Russell Westbrook. Gets the first, and that brings them within five. And Russell Westbrook drops them both. Nice work there. This is a point in the game where if you get a chance to close the gap, you've got to make the most of it. Steps back and fires. Another one falls for Chicago. <laughs> and this is why they want the ball into Rosen's hand. This guy is stone cold under pressure. And that one's good. George. These are the shots we have come to expect from Paul George. This guy is cold blooded. Here's DeRozan again, Chicago. Boy, once he gets going like this, he becomes unstoppable. This has reached desperation time for him. I'll tell you, you need absolute perfection on every possession. That's what it's going to take here. And really, these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. line for your Paul George. the first one and that brings them within five. And both free throws good for Paul George. And with the game in the balance, PG is a good bet to deliver. Here's DeRozan. Vucevic trying to get open. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. 15 Shooting for Chicago, DeMar DeRozan, at the line for two. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. So the first one drops, and that puts them up by five.
Second one is good. Getting both at the line. It's a six-point ball game. Well, it's about the little details. Capitalize at the free throw line. Add to your lead. And the Clippers call time here. They're down by six. 46 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And now, a moment to present the New Balance Player of the Game, Anzo Ball. He's put on a shooting exhibition for us here tonight. He's missed a couple along the way, but it sure seems like everything's been falling for him. The only way to keep him from converting is to keep the ball out of his hand. Zubac kicks to Westbrook. Fires the three. And Bucevic pulls it down. Terrific closeout there to challenge the three. It may be the hardest thing to do in basketball. Close under control, and he's more than up to the task. Shooting for Chicago, Monzo Hall, two shots. Drops the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's an eight-point game. We've got 33 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Outside Westbrook. Pass to George. And that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. Oh, Paul George loves delivering when the game is on the line at his absolute best. And now they decide to foul intentionally. No choice but to foul there, but, it, but he's probably the last guy you want to see on the line. Kobe White shooting two. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good, and that makes it a seven-point lead. The athleticism and blinding speed White possesses is impressive. This guy plays with a lot of moxie. And so he drops them both. It's an eight-point game. And the Clippers call time here. They're trailing by eight. 19 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? Some call them wins and lessons. Coach not wasting any time making his point. Well, maybe not his time, but this game is certainly finished. Let's get it over with. And here are the Clippers now. George, no good. And here's Carter. And so it's Chicago winning this one. And in the win, a comfortable win in what was, I think, a pretty hostile environment. It really was. You, you know, it's never going to be easy on the road, but they didn't have too many problems with that tonight. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Damar, big effort tonight. What is the state of mind of this club right now? Just we focus in, in on the defensive end. We know if we get stops, we can definitely score whenever we want. And you got it done tonight, Damar. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. And that about wraps it up. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Older, this is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you next time.